Good morning, class. Welcome to Horticulture Module for Grade 10. This focuses on Quarter 3, Week 1 discussion. So let's get started. I'm Miss Cassandra Alcantara, your horticulture teacher. Let's begin with a crossword puzzle. Let's see how you are good in words and meanings. Let's take the vertical words first. It is a three-letter word known for the role of pollination. You got it correct. B. Number two. Known for powerful hind leg used for lifting vigorously. That's correct. Grasshopper. Let's go to the horizontal words. First, one that undergo metamorphosis. Absolutely, butterfly. A four-letter word that forms a colony ranges in size. Very good, ants. Number three, a, a hemipterans feed on sucking and piercing mouth parts. Correct. Bugs. Four. The larval stage of butterflies. You got it correct. Caterpillar. Five. Soft-bodied insect that use their piercing sucking mouth parts to feed on plants. Exactly. Aphids. What have you noticed to the words identified on the puzzle? Yes, you're correct. They are insects. Do you think they are all provide benefit to the plants? Of course not. There are some that is considered as pests. So for today's lesson, we will going to discuss pest management and pest control. These are the objectives of the lesson. First, differentiate pest management from pest control. Demonstrate how to create an organic pesticides in your home and appreciate the importance of pest management practices. Pest control experts determine the source and severity of the infestation and where the pests are breeding and living. They understand the life cycle of pests and which natural factors both inside and around your property might be encouraging their growth. Pest management is professional care that prevents potential pest problems by identifying factors that may lead to future infestation. Professional companies will recommend lifestyle changes, example, removing open food sources, cleaning surfaces, clearing garbage surrounding a property, and if necessary, apply chemical or natural solutions as an additional preventive measures. Follow-up inspections and treatments may be required to prohibit additional pest tissues. Given the definition, can you now differentiate pest management versus pest control? In pest control, it is a treatment that should eliminate infestation after it has already occurred. It is also typically one-time treatment. While pest management, it seeks to limit the survival and reproduction of potential pests by removing sources of water, food, and shelter. Unlike pest control, Pest management can be ongoing to prevent pest issues before they occur. 
it is of great value to both home and businesses whose concerns about insects or furry animal pests in the area and the recurrence of infestation. There are several methods to control pests. Try to figure out the pictures presented. What have you observed? Alright, so for the next activity, your task is to arrange the jumbled words into a meaningful sentence. The first method is effective knowledge. I'll give you one minute to arrange the words. You got it right. You need to identify the types of pests that you are dealing with and their lifestyle. Only then, you can make strategies to control them. It is considered a method because in order for you to kill and control certain pests, you need to know first the nature of the pest and its lifestyle. With that knowledge, you can easily control and stop the infestation. Next, Organic Pest Control Method. I'll give you one minute. Start now. Many people go for natural methods to target only pests and not harming other plants or animals in the process. The need to kill only one pest without harming other plants is the goal of organic pest control. One of the examples is the sodium fluoroacetate. It is a sodium salt of a naturally occurring plant toxin called fluoroacetate. Plants use this toxin to defend themselves from herbivores. Example of this is the Australia's wallflower poison bush that contains high level of toxin against pests. So again, um, it is an organic pest control because the sodium fluoroacetate comes from plant. Third, biological control. One minute to arrange the words. As you have noticed in the picture, there are parasites that attack caterpillar, which is a pest. Now, in order for the pest to interfere breeding and infecting the plants, a parasite was introduced to attack or even kill the pests. That's how biological control happens. 4. Chemical Pesticides Arrange in 1 minute Using of chemical pesticide pose hazard in the environment, but it is effective and fastest way to eradicate pests in a large-scale farm. A person applying chemical pesticide should have a proper PPEs to avoid its contamination on the body. Last is hygiene control. One minute. Hygiene control deals with how the environment should be clean, safe, and tidy. It should start with your home, offices, and surroundings. By simply flushing of toilet, seal the septic tanks, drains, and holes around pipes, 
and disposing of all the trash properly and do recycling. That ends our topic for week 1. For the next activity, complete the concept map. What are the importance of pest management? Very good! Now, for your performance task, I will demonstrate to you how to make an organic pesticides in your home. Good afternoon everyone! So today we are going to make an organic pesticides. And all the ingredients that is included in our organic pesticides can be found in your home. Specifically in your kitchen. Alright? So let's see. Uh, we have here three main ingredients of our organic pesticides. So first we have one liter of water. Next, we have vinegar. Any brand of vinegar. So, ito lang ang available sa aming kitchen. So, ito ang ating gagamitin. Okay? And, pangatlo is a dishwashing liquid. Any brand din, walang specific brand, basta dishwashing liquid. So, this uh, these are the ingredients of our organic pesticides. So, let's start. So, napakadali lang po. So, we have here our 1 liter of water. Take note for the water to be used in our organic pesticide. It should be um, oxidized na. When you say oxidized, um, in your home, in our faucet, di ba, may chlorine yun. May chlorine content
kasi after noon uh, pupuntahan naman siya ng Milibag or Apids yung mga puti-puting makikita natin sa likod ng dahon or nagkukumpulan doon sa mga stem so yung iyon yung iiwasan natin kasi yun yung pumukuha ng nutrients doon sa ating alaman so isa siyang type ng peste so kailangan natin siyang i-remove and of course dahil nasa bahay lang naman tayo we don't need to uh, give our plant a chemical uh, pesticide so we'll just do an organic pesticide so that our plant will grow healthy and safe to eat Ayan. so very adaptive in this time of pandemic kasi nasa bahay lang tayo and all of this ingredient is very available in your kitchen so you don't need to go outside to buy a commercial pesticide just to uh, keep your plant away from pests. Alright? So, napaka-adaptive nitong ginawa nating um, pesticide. Okay? So, I suggest you will do this on your own. Alright? So, again, we have water. 1 liter of water. Kailangan na-oxidize siya. Ibig sabihin, nawala yung chlorine content niya. And then, we have the vinegar in any brand. And then, the dishwashing liquid. And, uh, very important reminder, if you're going to apply this organic pesticide, you need to apply it um, late in the afternoon. Yung wala na siyang init, wala nang sikat ng araw. Bakit? Kasi, um, uh, itong ginawa natin, although organic, so, makaka-affect din siya dun sa mga leaves. Kasi pwedeng pag sobrang init ng araw, tapos in-spray natin siya, so, mag-react yung, yung mga content nito dun sa dahon. Pwede siyang masuko. Okay? So, kaya dapat wala ng araw or late in the afternoon na kayo mag-a-apply or mag-spray ng pesticide. Actually, hindi lang itong ginawa natin pesticide. Any kind of pesticide um, is advisable to apply late in the afternoon. Right? So, iniwasan natin yung sikat ng araw na mag uh, magpenetrate sa dahon or sa plant while na, while inapply natin ng ating pesticide. Okay? So, I hope uh, you will do this on your home so that you can have an organic pesticide ready avail readily available in your home. So, that's all for today. Goodbye, everyone! For additional activity, differentiate pest control and pest management. For your assessment, answer the following questions. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day! I hope you learned something from this video. For more videos and updates, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. God bless everyone!